Good evening, everybody. Welcome to your Thursday evening Facebook Live. My name is Sarah Edwards. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and I come to you guys live every Tuesday and Thursday at 7 to show you a fun new project. So good evening, everybody. I am feeling a million times better. I have no idea what it was. I didn't get worse yesterday, but I did. As soon as the live went, um, was done, I went in, took a shower, and went straight to bed. So I am feeling a million times better. So thank you for that. And I didn't get a lot of time. Actually, I didn't get any time in my craft room today. I got the Facebook Live done and that was it. I didn't get off work until noon and my body just couldn't take it anymore. So I came home and took a nap and didn't get up till probably three. And then I sat on the couch for maybe an hour and did absolutely nothing. Then came out, did my live, and I did really have to clean up my Facebook Live table area because it was starting to get like this high over everywhere, and I couldn't even find anything, and I was afraid things were going to fall over. So I did clean that, um, and that's about all I did, and then I made dinner, and now we're out here. Isn't this weather crazy? I was not expecting it to rain and be so chilly. It was pouring after dinner, so I had to grab my umbrella out of the car, and I had to kick the furnace on in my craft room. Usually I have a small, not small, but a space heater that I plug in and turn on, and it keeps it super nice and comfortable in the craft room, but I haven't had it on forever because it's been amazing weather, and it was really chilly, so I had to at least turn it on to take the chill out so I wasn't over here shivering. So anyway, hello everybody. Welcome and say hi when you're, so I know you're here. Good evening, Debbie, how are you? So uh, today's card is no stamping. It's kind of crazy. I literally hardly ever do cards without stamping. But I thought, you know what, Sarah, you don't have a whole lot of time today and it's okay. Like it's okay to not have a whole lot of time to craft and you can still make something absolutely gorgeous when you don't have a whole lot of time, but you need a birthday card. So I am pulling three dies. I know that's a moment. Hopefully you guys have these. If not, we can you can kind of substitute other dies for what we're going to be playing with. So that is what I'm going to show you, that it's okay if you don't have hours to spend in your craft room. You can get out there and don't even have to worry about stamping. Do some die cut and your card is done. Okay, there we go. Good evening, Darlene. Welcome. So let me open up my iPad. I actually should have did that while I was out here, but I was on Facebook and I shouldn't have been. And it looks like my iPad's dead, so let me charge it. And we will just continue until it decides to come on. So these are the three dies that I brought in. So I've been using Filled with Fun Bundle. This is a brand new online exclusive. Um, the per perennial postage dies and the wanted to say dies. So the wanted to say dies is in the annual catalog. Um, this one is in the mini catalog. And this one is only on the online exclusives. So I used a little bit of all three of these. So I'm going to open up this one first. I pulled out the happy birthday the letters and then the overlay or the underlay that goes underneath it. So I have those two from this set. I pulled in the second largest of this guy. And this one, I pulled in the balloon tail and you get two of these. And I pulled in both of those. So these are the three images or dies that we're going to be working with. I've already pre-cut them, so we don't have to sit and do that on the live. But I am going to emboss a little bit. So let me bring in the card we're going to be playing with today. So here's the card. And at first, oh, I should have brought in, let me grab it really quick. I should have brought in like my original kind of design that I was going with. And I liked it, but I thought it was a little too much. I went and grabbed it, so hold on. So this is what I was originally working with, is just stamping the balloons and putting some of the little streamers on there and then doing the happy birthday on it. 
And it looked really cute and I really liked it. But then I was like, you know, let's just not do stamping and let's just focus on the dies. So that's what we're going to be doing. So this is the fun set we're gonna need today. And I need some masculine cards. My son-in-law's birthday is right around the corner. One of my son-in-law's birthday is right around the corner. So I need to get his card going. So I have a piece of our thick basic white and it measures eight and a half by five and a half and I scored it at four and a quarter. So we're just gonna take that, fold it and give it a nice good crease and we can set that aside. Now I'm gonna bring in a piece of our basic white, and this technically measures, well, not technically, it's four by five and a quarter, but I cut it just a smidgen under four and just a smidgen under five and a quarter because I die cut this frame out and I didn't want any of the white poking through. So literally it's not even an eighth of an inch. It's just a little tiny smidgen. And then I have the starry sky and this is what I die cut out. And this is four by five and a quarter. And I just used this larger image to die cut the center. So that is what we're going to be doing. Super easy and super quick. Okay, but first we are going to emboss. What I like to do when I'm embossing two pieces together, I like to just put a little smidgen of glue. Smidgen is my new word, can you guys tell? Just a little smidgen. Because once you emboss this, that glue is going to stick so well. So I'm just laying these two pieces together and you can flip it over and you can see it's literally just a smidgen smaller. And that's what I wanted. So there's that. And I brought in the new, actually it's not new, it's the metal plate embossing folder. It, this is in the annual catalog as well. I didn't have this, so I actually had to borrow it from my upline. And I'm like, hmm, since I have it, I might as well use it for more than just what I borrowed it for. But don't tell her, just kidding, she won't care. So I'm gonna bring in my embossing machine. And my silly iPad is still not wanting to turn on. So I can't see comments. I can stop and look over at my computer really quick though. Hello, Valerie. Thank you, Darlene. So I'm gonna lay my embossing folder down and put my 3D plate on top. And I'm gonna crank this through. Easy peasy, right? So now it is embossed and ready to go. So then I got thinking, why don't I emboss my balloons? I didn't do this on my original card. And then while I was eating dinner, I was like, oh, we should emboss the balloons as well. And I will tell you a little trick. You can put these on top and just run it through one time. So you can emboss all of this at once. But I didn't. Let's see what it looks like. We might like it, we might not. Trial and error. So I'm gonna peel those off. And that is all we are going to need the embossing machine for. And this embossing is actually optional. You don't have to do it. And then I have my birthday and I, um, die cut the happy birthday in starry sky and this one is tahitian tide so these colors are retiring at the end of april so we won't be able to get them so if you'd like them get it now so i'm just going to come in and poke out the little pieces so there's that and then the a and had I been thinking clearly, I would have put the adhesive sheets on the back, but I didn't. So we're just gonna gently with our Tombow, don't squeeze a ton. You're just going to gently put a little bit of Tombow on this. And you don't need a whole lot. This stuff sticks really well. 
So there's our happy. And my iPad is coming back to life. So I will be able to see comments now. So just gently put this on. The adhesive sheets are amazing for this. I won't lie. There we go. If you are getting glue all over your fingers and your project, that means you're using a little too much glue. So less is more when you're using Tombow. Sorry, I'm just trying to see if I am live. And I think we are, there we go. It is on. So there's that. And then for these guys, I put a mini glue dot on the bottom of each of these. And that is how I stuck down my little balloon tails. There we go. It's a super quick card to put together and it's kind of cute. So it's a win-win. So I'm gonna take the mini dimensionals and I'm gonna put that over the tail and the mini glue dot. This is just going to keep the mini glue dot from sticking to your card base. And now I need to find, here we go, my large dimensionals. And I'm gonna put a large dimensional in on the top. And then we can flip this over. We can put a couple on here. Three is probably overkill, but I think two isn't quite enough. So we're gonna do six, three on each side. So peel the backing off. I'm gonna peel the backing off of these as well. I'm doing the larger ones first because I can hold the larger ones in my hand as I pull them all off, but those little ones get me sometimes. Okay, so now all we have to do is put these on our card. And my tails are going every which direction and that's okay. Is I'm going to come in and kind of make them go in between and above my happy birthday. Maybe we'll put that one underneath. So just kind of play with it and make it your own card. There we go. No, I don't like the way that one's sticking up. So we're going to tuck him underneath. There we go. Super cute. And guess what? Glue this to your card base and your card's done. You could do these in all of our colors and have a plethora of them waiting to go out to your friends. I should have prepped more. Of all days, I only prep one. I definitely could have prepped a couple different colors and done them in different. But it was a super cute, fun way of no stamping. We're only using dies. And I really wanted to focus on the online exclusives, the filled with fun dies. I love these. I love the stamp sets. The bundle is amazing. And it's an extra way to use all of these pieces that come in the kits. So there you go. Hopefully you guys liked it. It is definitely a super quick Facebook Live and I chatted for a while in the beginning. So anyway, thank you for joining me. I will not be live Tuesday or Thursday next week. We're leaving Tuesday morning for Houston and I don't get back until Sunday. 
So I will see you guys a week from Tuesday. And then the retreat is literally right after we get back. So I won't be live next Thursday. So I'll only see you next Tuesday. So if you need anything, please feel free to reach out. If not, I will see everybody a week from Tuesday. I'm sure I'll be posting lots of pictures on my personal Facebook as well as the business Facebook. But that is it for this evening. Have a great evening and we will see you soon. Bye-bye.